This will be our first example for solving the compound inequality with or. So going to ELA, a compound sentence is where we join two complete sentences together. So for example, you could say, I would like to go to the mall or I would like to go to the mall today or I would like to go out to eat. And then I could shorten that to, I would like to go to the mall or go out to eat. So just like in English, a compound sentence joins two complete thoughts together. Our compound inequalities will join two inequalities together. So your first step will be able to solve the inequality that you see in pink and solve the one in blue. So if I was going to solve the one in pink, I will add one to each side. I would get 6b is less than negative 6, divide both sides by 6, so I end up with b is less than negative 1. Or, now let's solve the 1 in blue. Subtract 1, so 2b is greater than 4, divide both sides by 2, b is greater than 2. Now we're going to combine these on one giant graph. So I have negative 1. I have 2, and then you could put the opposite on. Okay, let's graph the one in pink first. So b is less than negative 1. I'm going to put an open circle on negative 1. Less than would be like negative 2, negative 3, so we're shading to the left. b is greater than negative 2. Open circle again. Greater means like 3, 4, 5, etc., so that will go off to the right. Now we are going to write this as one big interval. So the one in pink starts to the left, to the left. Negative infinity is off to the left. So that one goes from negative eight to negative one, and I use two parentheses because I cannot equal. In the center, we are going to put a U. This means union, which means join together or combine. And then I will write the inequality in blue. So I am going from 2 and then I'm going to the right, to the right, positive infinity is off to the right, and I need two parentheses because I cannot equal.